everyone, I'm Linda Brayman. Now that Thanksgiving is over, you are finally free from all of the food preparation. But Christmas is coming soon and New Year's Day won't be too far away. Busy days are coming again. But don't work too hard. Take a break once in a while and watch Senior Moments. Senior Moments covers events and activities at senior centers in the Ann Arbor Ypsilanti area, such as the Ann Arbor Senior Center, Turner Senior Resources Center, the Pittsfield Senior Center, and the Ann Arbor Community Center. Also, the show provides valuable information for senior citizens on such issues as health, wealth, finance, and entertainment. Senior Moments is a monthly show. It premieres on the last Sunday of the month at 5 p.m. and it runs 10 times a week on CTN Channel 16. Please check out our website at a2gov.org slash CTN for the playback schedule. Also, you can watch the show on YouTube. Please log on to youtube.com slash CTN Ann Arbor to view current and archived shows. The weather outside may be chilly, but inside there's hot chocolate or hot cider or something else to enjoy, like senior moments. Curl up in your cozy chair with your warm drink and join us. We're very careful about posture. This is Embrace Tiger, Return to Mountain, and thank you.
<laughs> Hi, we're going about to show you our intermediate tap routine from the Ypsilanti Township Recreation Department's 15 Beyond Tap Dancers. Angels watching over me with smiles upon my face Cause I have made it through this far in an unforgiving place It feels sometimes it feels to be for a girl like me to cry But I must knock those thoughts right down I do it in my own time I don't care I'm halfway there Hello, my name is Chef Christy, and today I'm going to share with you a couple simple and easy recipes that are nice and healthy and that you can make yourself at home. What we're going to do is take a red pepper. We just need about a fourth of a cup of pepper diced up, and then I open up the side like this. And then we can just julienne it and then turn these little julienne strips in the opposite direction to dice them up. So there's just a simple little trick to go along with our episode on healthy cooking today. We are going to put a little bit of oil in our pan, which is nice and warm, and we'll put our diced red peppers in the pan as well. Hear that nice sizzle? That means they're cooking right away. We always want to make sure we preheat our pan before we start to cook. So that way as soon as the cold item goes into the pan, it heats right up and it starts to develop some nice color. So while those are cooking, we will take our salmon and then we are going to season them up with a little bit of cumin. 
some oregano. Just a pinch here of cayenne, just for a little bit of heat. Now, if you don't like spice, you don't have to add that in. But it really just gives it a nice warm flavor. It's not too spicy. And then some paprika. We take our mayo and add that in. Like I said, that is going to act as our binding ingredient instead of a raw egg. And then we just wait here for our red pepper to soften up and develop a little bit of color. And then go ahead and add that right in to our mixture here. You can use celery, onion, or you could even dice up some zucchini if you want and throw that in. Also, uh, you can get some ingredients from your local farmer market to add into your salmon cakes or maybe to make a little salad to go along with it. Um, I do cooking demonstrations at a couple farmer's markets, uh, Pittsfield Township and Canton Township. So you can come see me at the market doing my demo live and sample the tasty treats. When I do my recipes at the market, I make sure that I utilize all the fresh local produce that you can get there at the farmer's market. And it's nice too because some of them even uh, have the food assistance programs. So you can go and watch the demo, get the recipe, and then if you uh, have access to food assistance, you can actually utilize that to get some of the ingredients to duplicate the recipe. Okay, so now all we have to do is form our salmon mixture into little patties. You can make them smaller or larger. Okay, so from here, all we have to do is let uh, our salmon patties cook and develop a little bit of color on each side. And then they will be all set and ready for you to enjoy. Okay, we'll do one more here. All right, so we can plate up here one of our little salmon cakes. And again, my name is Chef Christy of Grace Savory and Sweet, and you can find me at uh, the farmer's market. So make sure you stop on by and come get a sample, tasty treat of what we have cooking up for you. Thank you. Thank you for watching Senior Moments. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Linda Brayman, and I wish you all happy holidays.